Number three, I want a woman that is non-religious. And what do I mean by that? I want a woman that isn't a Hebrew Israelite. She isn't a Christian. She isn't a Muslim. I want a woman that actually knows herself. That's what I'm into. If you're still searching for yourself, I can tolerate that. You know, like I was saying before, if you are willing to learn, if you want to learn, those who have ears to hear, eyes to see, and a mind to understand, I can lead you to the way. I can't, uh, I can't baby spoon feed you all the information. You have to do your own research for yourself. But I can, I can help you get on that path. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't mind building that type of relationship with you. Oh, excuse me. I don't mind building that type of relationship with you to where you are trying to learn about yourself and know more about yourself or you're trying to learn more about spirituality and alchemy and mysticism and so on and so forth. I can't tolerate a woman or more so try to teach a woman on why such and such isn't demonic or why such and such isn't bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just too much. That's that's like child's play. And, you know, I I can understand because at, at one point in my life, I used to be that way. But, you know, that stopped when I was like 18. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that that all officially stopped. Well, actually, it officially stopped when I was uh, 16 going on 17 because I ran into this uh, this beautiful dark skinned black woman. Um, and, and we had a we had a very close relationship. Just keep it that way. All right. I want to get. Uh, 18 plus but we had a very intimate relationship and she was a witch she called herself a witch but she dealt with things concerning hoodoo and voodoo uh, all the other type of stuff right and and though the poom poom was good right <laughs> though she had it going on like that you know what I'm saying I would be freaked out when she would talk about her voodoo practices or hoodoo practices and stuff like that and I was like, I can't rock with that. But she was like, but this is your magic. This is who you are. This is your your own. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this, these are your powers. You know, tapping into voodoo and hoodoo is, is who you are. It's, it's nature. You know, and when I began to slowly get into that, you know, and slowly study it for myself, I was like, wow, this this really is our true spirituality. You know, started studying more into African spirituality, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, to get back on topic, I don't want a woman that is religious. I, I do not want to go through this, uh, this mind numbing, like this mind grain, this headache of trying to explain to you why Baphomet isn't demonic. You know, I don't want to show you a book about, uh, demonology or demonology, I should say, and the, the Bible, the adversary impacts with the devil. You know, I don't want to tell you about all these forms of mythology and how they all co-sign together. And all you got out of it was always oh, as bad as evil is of the devil. I don't I don't have time to recondition your mind from what you learn in church. Like I said, you have to do that on your own time. I do not have the time of day or night. <laughs> For that that is beyond me leading on to number four and we're just gonna keep this brief like I said I don't want to keep this uh, turn this into uh, 18 plus you know mature type of content but uh, I do want a freak in the sheets all right I want somebody who is you know what I put in my notes is experienced and what I mean by it's experienced I don't mean somebody that's been up and down and around town you know what I'm saying? Um, somebody could be experienced in terms of being a freak and, you know, I could be there first. It 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 could happen. Um, but what I mean by experience is that you know how to talk that talk. You know how to 